Welcome to this series about virus production. Today we will talk about the capacity crunch. There is a big production demand for viral vector production. There is also a big pipeline in different clinical stages and scales. In 2016, the total number of clinical trials with viral vectors were more than 700. Adenovirus, retroviruses including lentivirus are used in the majority of trials. But adeno-associated virus has grown rapidly the last few years, primarily targeting gene therapy. High-dose systemic administration for gene therapy requires more virus bulk, and this means higher demands on process efficiency and scale. The contract manufacturer's production capacity for viral vectors are limited, and they have an urgent need to be able to set up new, preferably platform technologies for viral vector production. It is important that you early on in the process development think about if your process can be scalable and if it's compatible with GMP production. If it's also compatible with modular pre-designed production facilities, then that is a very big plus. In conclusion, you have to focus early on manufacturability and flexible facility design. This will ensure that you make the best use of your available development capability. And in the next episode, we will talk about how complex virus production is. We will also share some insights that we have gained from our own work with a scalable virus process. If you want to learn more about viral vector production, please visit our web.